Well, hello everybody. Today I'm going to be doing a quick video showing you three ways of how you can open quail eggs. So we love quail eggs. We have our own quail. They are super cute and they're extremely healthy and delicious. Some could argue more delicious than a chicken egg. But anyway, I'm going to go over those three ways. They are a little bit different than a chicken egg. So here are your options. The first one, and my favorite, is quail egg scissors. Another way that you can do it is just a serrated knife. And then the third way we're going to try it is just cracking this guy open just like a chicken egg. We'll see how that goes. So let me zoom the camera in here and we'll get started. Okay, so when it comes to cracking open your quail eggs, it's best practice to always wash them first. So I have washed these eggs. I personally feel comfortable just rinsing them under water since they are uh, quail eggs from our own covey and I know how they're raised and treated and cleaned and cared for. Um, if you're getting them elsewhere, you can do just a quick 50-50 water vinegar wash or whatever your preferred method is. Okay, so we are going to start with the quail egg scissors. So these have a little hole. That is where you will put the pointy side of the quail egg. It's gonna go right in that hole. You can do it this way is fine. I kind of prefer to turn the scissors over and do it this way. Either way works just fine. And this will clean cut the top right off. Just like this. All right. Sometimes it's a little bit messy on the top, but I just put the top in a little bowl there. Okay, so we have our egg perfectly intact. And then your frying pan or your bowl that you're gonna whisk them in, however you're going to be using them, you'll just dump it in. And then you do have this cute little shell. Um, people will use these for arts and crafts projects, which is kind of neat too. So there we go, there's our first egg. Okay, my battery was dying there, so I had to adjust a bit. Uh, I'm gonna show you the second method next. So same principle as the quail egg -like scissors, only I'm going to take my serrated knife and carefully cut the top off. So this, um, I'm, not, I'm not the best person with knives. So it is a little bit tricky for me. There we go. I got my knife to grab, so not my favorite method, but it does work. And a lot of people do use it. Okay. Okay, so I got my top off. I'm just gonna, oh, I'm gonna drop it. Ideally, you would just pick it up and put it in a bowl. But same principle as the quail egg scissors, the top is off. And drop that into the bowl. Now the third method, I am just going to take this egg and try to crack it like a chicken egg. So because I have the quail egg scissors, I haven't really done the other two methods a whole lot, but I'm gonna move this stuff out of the way here. I've only tried this really one time, so let's see how it goes. Now the quail eggs are a little bit crumbly compared to chicken eggs, but you can crack them. Okay, so here's the shell. So you can see how crumbly they are. I actually did pretty good this time. I didn't get any eggshells in there. The last couple times I tried this, I did get eggshells in it. But I'll just show you how the quail egg shell is compared to a chicken egg. Look at this. All of the shell will just crumble right off the membrane. So there's, it does not clean break like a chicken shell does. So if you're interested in quail and raising them for eggs, I obviously highly recommend it. Or if you know a local farmer or quail raiser and you wanna support them, oops, I have to drop stuff here. Um, they really are a great thing to add to your diet. And these quail scissors, are definitely worth it. They are only a few dollars 
and they will save you a lot of sticky fingers. And uh, oh, the other thing is that if you have kids, they will probably fight over who gets to use the quail scissors.